Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to State of Decay 2 here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and we're back. It's almost nighttime, uh, and we have we have some stuff to do. And uh, to do that, we're going to go to the menu screen, and then we're going to go to base. We've got we got some stuff to do at the base. Uh, Mission-wise, we have to... Um, Mission-wise, we have to build the infirmary, but uh, real quick, I just want to break down the stuff on the left side of the screen. So here's our resources. Um... It's broken down by food, meds, ammo, materials, fuel, parts, and influence. So uh, at the very bottom is influence. Like I said, what that is is basically the currency of the game. You use influence to buy new outposts and to uh, to talk talk to other survivors and have them gain join your cause and stuff like that. Uh, parts are used to build uh, certain items. Like uh, you use them to repair and fabricate um, new weapons or, like I said, repair old weapons. Uh, they're super important later on in the game. Not so much right now. Uh, fuel, again, we talked about that in the last episode. Materials uh, are just the box icons. Uh, and materials are used to build new items within your base. So uh, the infirmary is going to use probably two or three materials. Ammo. Um, ammo caches can be broken down into random uh, assortment of ammo. Or you can use ammo... Uh, in general, to create specific uh, ones if you have a workshop. Meds, uh, it's the same concept as ammo, just for medicine. And then food is just, you know, how we all survive. And right now, it's it says four uh, survivors eating, so you lose four a day, which sounds pretty insane. Um, but take into amount of time how long a day is. Like, you're going to see uh, a day lasts almost... 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so that's a lot of time to go gather more food. And again, you can build uh, farms and stuff down the way. So uh, we'll go down, look at community. Our population is four, which means we have four available labor. Although, if they really wanted to bump it up, what it would be would be three, and one of them is out of commission because uh, they're sick and we really shouldn't be using them. Um, and then available beds, we don't have any because uh, there's four of us and there are four available beds right now. Here's morale, uh, status effects that are going on right now. So we have a knowledge of gardening, medicine, uh, pop culture, which I don't think does anything, <laughs> and then uh, temporary material storage, uh, which I don't, I don't know what that's about. And then we have an outpost limit of two, and then here's our threat level based on noise. So what we're going to actually do is uh, fix this right now so we have more bed space, and then we're going to clean this up. Which, uh, that's, that takes uh, two people to clean up and two people to do this bed, which means that in, for five minutes we can't really do much of anything. And if you'll notice, the bottom left corner, our threat level has gone up a little bit because uh, of noise. So now we have attack risk. And uh, when you're in that menu right there, time doesn't slow down, so now you can see it's darker. So what we're basically going to do while they're... Technically, my character shouldn't even be doing anything because he's one of the bodies that's supposed to be cleaning. Um... So, like I said, uh, a good a good way to build up your uh, it's not stamina. I don't think what's it called cardio is just doing laps around the house, and that's just sprinting until you're right about at it, and then letting it build back up, and then continuing the sprint. And this is how I've gotten most of my characters to max out cardio pretty quick in the game, which is a good thing to get done quickly because if you need to run. From zombies, like if it looks like the fight's not going to go your way, it's good to be buffed up in cardio so you can just sprint the hell out or get to your car super quick and dash. This is my personal opinion. Um, I don't know. Other people might focus on fighting more. But uh, when we get to these blood hearts, you're going to see that fighting is not the best way to go sometimes. <laughs> A good chunk of the time. Like I said, uh, just look at how dark this game gets. Like, we have the moon out tonight. Moon isn't always out. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Like, this game gets fucking black. Question, question, blah, blah, blah. Hope y'all are having a good day, by the way. I, I didn't say that in either of the previous three episodes. But uh, hope you guys are all doing great. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Um... If, uh, if I understand my airing schedule and I haven't done any... See, there goes a cardio point. 
uh, and I haven't like gone rogue and just been like, oh, out of nowhere, I'm going to record this. Uh, this should be airing alongside Golf Story, which is a that's pretty good. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, sorry for that yawn. Shouldn't be yawning. It's only like 4 p.m. right now, but um, this should be airing alongside back and forth with Golf Story. So that's a pretty cool like. Hey, here's a super chill, relaxing game, and then here's a here's a game that's not so much chill or, or relaxing. It can have relaxing moments. This game, um, actually, I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. I was like, what we could do is grab a gas can and try and go get the car real quick, but I don't know about that. Blah 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 blah. I'd like to show you guys on this episode what happens when you max out a skill, and then you get to choose between two other subset skills. But to do that, I'm gonna need to. This episode is just gonna be called "Run, Run, Run." Or do you run for fun? I'm not going to remember to call it that. I am going to need to get food, though. Oh, Jesus. Beezus, beezus, beezus. So, uh, while we're here, while I'm just doing this jogging, uh, ways to get influence are bringing back, uh, bringing back rucksacks. There we go. Um, bringing back rucksacks, and then you can also do missions for people. So here we go. Now we can specialize cardio. So we can either uh, increase our carrying capacity, or sprinting costs us stamina, and fatigue accrues accrues more slowly. So I don't know why it does one, like highlights one or the other. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it highlights both. But uh, I think it's just to do with your like traits. So we're gonna go with backpack. So our stamina is a little better, and we can carry 15 more pounds, as I understand it. Yeah. Or 15 more pounds before we get to over-encumbered. Okay. So, uh, we'll just look at this one more time. So, uh, sprinting and climbing helps out with this. Uh, surging containers and stealth kills helps out with wits, fighting hand to hand, and then obviously shooting. And then once we find a book, we can give ourselves another skill, which I'm I'm gonna try and find a mechanic book because that would be that'd be just the best. All right, so now we can build an infirmary, which we're gonna build back here. It's gonna cost us three supplies and take six minutes. Um, so fuck it. Let's grab a fuel can and go get the car. Uh, using your radio. Every survivor carries a radio that they can use to call in outside support. If you need a resource or a recruit, you can use the radio to track that down. Some survivors offer radio commands that heal, resupply, or rain down fire. So that was something that I actually used a lot in State of Decay 1, but I haven't really used at all here. So that's, I didn't even realize that that was part of the mission that was about to come up, but that works out for us. Blah, 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 blah. Not trying to waste my whole bar right quick. So it's basically like, all right, so the infirmary's going, but you're going to have time before it's done, so. I wonder if I can get this guy. Work on my wheats. <laughs> Suck it. Wanna see you whip it so I can treat you right. Give me just a minute of your time tonight. 
We both are here to have the funds landed wamp. See, there goes our wits. Okay, so refuel gonna be on this side. The Palato CR. There's a there's a truck in the game called the Rames Five, and uh, but it's spelled as uh, Rames V. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a nod to Ving Rames in uh, in Dawn of the Dead. There's some lights for you. Still perfectly drivable until I get my hands on it. So this is cool because I can show you guys how this works right here. Park the car. And then you can go to your trunk and just transfer things into the building from the trunk instead of having to put them on and carry them in. That, I didn't learn that right away. And uh, when if they had told me in the game, I just wasn't paying attention. But I would pick up a pack and then go inside and then just keep doing that back and forth. And it fucking sucked. So, um, so yeah. It's good to know that that's how that's going. Um, uh, guys, that's the end of this episode. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing if you did. Let's, it looks like we have um, three minutes left. So by the time this episode comes back on, it'll uh, it'll probably be time to check out the infirmary and see what we need to do next. So guys, always, always, always remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days.